Hi, I'm Mo, head of design at Mimimi Games. Today I will show you some gameplay footage of the Shadow Tactics standalone expansion Ico's Choice and I will answer a couple of fan questions. Ico's Choice is a brand new standalone expansion to Shadow Tactics, uh, our beloved strategy game that we made five years ago. It's set in Japan around the Edo period and you take control of Aiko, who is one of the characters in the main game, and her deadly assassin friends, and you hunt down one of Aiko's, well, shadows from her past. The standalone expansion features three fully-fledged main missions that are comparable in size to the larger missions from Shadow Tactics, and they are set in brand new, awesome environments. And additionally, we have three shorter interlude missions, which I will tell you a little more about later. And overall, you can expect six to eight hours of playtime from Aiko's choice. Just like in the main game, you take control of up to five deadly specialists and you sneak around in the shadows between dozens of enemies. You can always choose your approach when infiltrating the enemy bases in the forest camps they are placed in or other cool settings. You can use traps, you can use poison, you can use all the skills that your characters have and combine them in very unique ways so that you always have your own way of playing the game, which is very important to us. Shadow Tactics Ico's Choice is about carefully planning every move you make then trying them a lot to get them right, um, and then having a lot of satisfaction when you finally manage to clear these huge maps of all the enemies on it. The story of Aiko's choice is set within the timeline of the main game, and it focuses on Aiko, of course, and her past. Aiko was pretty sure that she left her old life behind her, but her former sensei, the cunning spymaster Lady Chiyo, suddenly reappears from the shadows and challenges her. So together with Mugen, Hayato, Yuki, Takuma and the loyal pet Tanuki Kuma, she sets out to face Lady Chiyo, hunt her down and defeat the ghosts of her past. Aiko always was one of the team's favorite characters, so focusing the expansion on her was a natural choice to us. She's a very composed character that's not as flamboyant as maybe a Yuki is, but she has a lot of leadership qualities and she's very interesting, which is something you can see in a lot of the missions in the main game, where it shines through, where she talks about her past, she talks about the role of women in Edo period Japan, um, and I think that's a very interesting part of her story, and so we wanted to focus more on her as the main character for this expansion. And also Aiko is a Kunuichi, which means that she is a female ninja. Um, she was trained by Lady Chiyo, um, who is, well, this legendary Kunuichi teacher and sensei. And eventually she left her old life and her former sensei behind. And then she joins Mugen and the team at some point. And her relationship to Mugen grows a lot during that time. I mean, Mugen and Aiko know each other from before even Shadow Tactics. That is something that we hint at. But we wanted to explore that relationship a little more in Aiko's Choice. So we've always wanted to make something new in the Shadow Tactics universe. Since it was released, we wanted to make an expansion, maybe DLC. But it never really worked timing-wise, because we're a single project studio, and directly after Shadow Tactics, we went into working on Desperados 3. So there was no time to keep working on Shadow Tactics. And now, after we finished Desperados 3, there was a small time slot that we had before our next big project would start. And we decided that this was the right moment to actually do something in the Shadow Tactics universe. And it was the perfect time slot to make this kind of expansion of this scope. And this is why we decided on making it. And we were very happy and we had a lot of fun developing it. And we also hope that you have a lot of fun returning back to that world and the characters. So Ico's Choice features three main missions that are very big missions compared to the larger ones in Shadow Tactics. The first one is set in a very cool location that is hinted in at the main game sometimes, but I cannot tell you more about it right now. We're going to reveal that at a later stage. The second one is very unique in that it features a lot of water and islands in the water. So you can swim around a lot and you can tackle these islands the way you want to. And it gets very interesting because you have some characters that cannot swim, so you can only use them from certain locations and only on certain islands. Every island is this little sandbox in itself that you can tackle in the ways you want to. And they're very different gameplay-wise, so this is a very cool level that you can look forward to. The third level is a very, very cool one. 
Something everybody loves about our games are environment kills, where you can use the environment to take down enemies and make it look like an accident. And we decided to focus a lot on that in this level, and this features a lot of traps and weird contraptions that you can kill enemies with, and it's a lot of fun to explore that. So each of these missions plays and feels very different, and it's focused around different themes, so it's gonna be very cool and very satisfying to play through all of them, I think. So the interludes are something that is new and that we wanted to try in Ico's Choice for the first time. They're basically small missions that sometimes feature a lot less enemy setups than the big ones, and sometimes they don't even have any at all, and they're more narratively driven. So they can help us tell the story, show you things about characters that we couldn't really show you before in that way, because it always was in this dangerous setting of having to fight enemies. So. They are a very cool addition that we think maybe ties the big missions together better and gives you a better journey feel of going through the campaign of Ico's Choice. So Ico's Choice is based on the same tech as sh the original Shadow Tactics. And that means that we cannot just put things from Desperados into Ico's Choice. We would have loved to put the quality of life features from D3 into that game, because they're very cool. Um, but we didn't have much programming time and programming support for making this expansion. So basically the answer is similar to the one I gave before about the quality of life features. We would have loved to make a console version, but Shadow Tactics is five years old now, so it's based on a version of Unity that you cannot just make builds for console with, because it's too old, you need to upgrade the engine. And upgrading the engine in the game is a very, very daring thing to do, everything will break, you'd never know what exactly is going to happen, and since we didn't have a lot of programming support for this add-on, we just couldn't do it. So sadly there's only the PC version. It has been some time since last we met, perhaps you do not remember it all. Tales of the Samurai Mugen and his companions protecting the Shogun's peace. Do not worry. I will tell you all you must know and leave the rest to shadows. Let us start with introductions. I am Aiko, adept Kunoichi of the Sakura School, a skillful spy and a master of disguises. Some time ago, Mugen approached me. He wanted my help and I joined him gladly. A conspiracy was threatening our Shogun, its leader only known as Kage-sama. Soon our group numbered five in total, counting myself. Mugen, the mighty samurai and our leader. Fierce in battle and loyal without question, he owns not only the Shogun's trust, but my heart as well. Hayato of Iga, the proud but skillful shinobi. He and Mugen had saved each other during the siege of Osaka and had become trusted friends over the years to follow. Yuki, the thief, clever and capable beyond her years. Hayato stumbled on her during a mission on the Nakasendo and her wild talent soon earned her a place in the group. Takuma, the wise marksman, old but never broken. Another veteran of Osaka, he had been presumed dead until Mugen and I found him imprisoned by Kage-sama's allies. And let's not forget Kuma, of course, Takuma's loyal pet companion. Together, our group set out to dismantle Kage-sama's allies. We uncovered the schemes of Lord Yabu, who was forging weapons in secret to aid his master. We joined the campaign against General Okoto, who swept the country with terror and destruction, and brought him to justice. Step by step, we cornered Kage-sama, deprived him of support. Finally, we learned of the hidden encampment where he resided. Preparing for the journey, we gathered in our safe house in Nagoya. However, as we prepared to leave for this final mission, a new threat came to intercept us. An enemy most sly, a shadow from my very own past. This is a tale few have heard, a story I kept secret, an unknown chapter in the legend of the Blades of the Shogun. 